Here we go, found it. And I got it first. <laughs> I dodged that crap. I dodged that. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> We're gonna come up on our gun after this. I know I'm gonna regret this, but how is it amazing? It seems that anything that broke the normal rules of the simulation deposited loose data that can be incorporated into your programming. Huh. I actually kind of understand that. But since the data is so <laughs> fragmented, it doesn't leave behind a complete subroutine to loop into your code base. Nope. Never mind, you're talking gibberish again. Ugh. It's <laughs> simple. The more clusters you get, the more you can upgrade and alter your abilities. Ah, we're talking the same language. So, three of these enough? Still missing some key fragments. Get one more and we'll see. Kind of getting lost here, like driving around. So yeah, you took the long way around. Data thingies. Uh, yeah, just a bit. Clusters. Fine, clusters. If they can be so useful, then why isn't Zinyak sending his people out to collect Ooh. them? Why would they need them? To give his people a boost or something. I don't know, you're the one who says they're amazing. If Zinyak wants to change the code for his people, he can just... He wrote the simulation! Yeah, but what about keeping us from... You know what? Never mind. I'm just gonna accept this and move on. Probably better <laughs> that way. Uh, like... Good conversation. Yeah, y'all like the dialogue in this game too. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, that's the Holy shit! Maybe I destroyed my apartment. Uh, that place should have been condemned a long time ago. Well. I always thought it had character. That should be enough. Let's see what I can do here. Check your hub. Are you serious? These are gonna take away all my powers? Like I already had these. Did they really? Yeah, I already had these. I had like 200, you know, um, cluster things. I even had like the ice blast. They stuck them both away. Oh, this feels awesome. Here, let me load up a training program for you to test your powers. That's when you're just like, you know what, screw everyone, I just feel like punching someone. I mean, I figured it would like, you know, keep my character, you know, keep my powers. I mean, I probably won't be able to use them until you got them, but... It says you can jump long distances and run at high speeds. How about starting with a small jump? Oh, okay, I still got them. I still got them, I think. That should get you high. Oh, shoot, yeah, I see that you just like, jump up too steep. Yeah. Let me check my head here. No, no, I'm... Okay, yeah. Yeah, I probably still got him, because I got my same amount of clusters, so... And plus, my jump is a whole hell of a lot higher than yours <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got all my yeah, upgrades. Yeah, they're not showing, but I have them. Okay, now for the big test. Use your super speed to get a running start and leap to that opposite building. Oh, you gotta be joking. Just try it. Fun, but I want something more challenging. Good, because I found a race subroutine already in the city. Perfect. See? You did it! See, this is where they was making fun of the Matrix. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> Like I told you, but this game makes fun of everything. I think I figured out how this works. Run along the path collecting the power orbs, which should boost your new speed. Every time you hit a checkpoint, you'll be able to stay in the program a bit longer so you can reach the end. I can make my guy look like Neo if I want to. Oh, uh, yeah, you, yeah, you could actually. You can, you can get a trench coat, make it black. Give yourself sunglasses like you have. Oh, yeah. I even found a better Goku, you know, anime hairstyle. <laughs> Yeah, I did see that they had that on YouTube. And I was like, like a unlockable, you can just buy it. It's all this stuff here anyway. Oh, you can just buy it. Ah. At least the one I found you can buy. It means the simulation doesn't like it, and you're able to control the area. Sounds simple enough. It did the first time we said it too. You know what I'm Lies.
Ah, challenge. Oh, you know what you went after that? <laughs> it can knock on your walls, right? Gold! Yes! Only because I had the little glide ability, though. <laughs> Level eight on what? On uh, my other account. This one's like a new one. Oh. And then I'm starting off. Alright, which way are we going? Um, let's do a side quest. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I got it. Oh, this one's like pretty far away now. At least I hope I'm going in the right direction here. Okay, that's yeah, you are you. Yeah. Okay, that's your icon. I was I was looking on the map. I was like, why is the icon you know behind me? But I, uh, but that's you. <laughs> hey, isn't this the place where uh, on Saints Row Three it was like a zombie apocalypse? I think so. Yeah, that industrial area. Yeah. yeah. Or if it's not, it looks similar to it. Cause I know in uh in that one you had to take the little bridge to get there. Yeah. I see that that's still here actually. Wow, this thing you picked is all the way across the map. I'm just now getting to it. Oh, what's this, the insurance fraud? Yeah, yep. Do it. Oh, this is the one where you ragged all, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we need to find like a hill or something to go down. That makes this fun. Or super speed, you know, you just keep falling over and over and over again. Triple eight. That's what I just did. I'm still rolling. Do a barrel roll. Alright, there's a car. Why do I do this? There we go. Hurting stop. Whoa, hi! This just makes me wonder now. 